truckers that listen to our show. Night Dreams Talk Radio Network brings you the world paranormal news with James Creechbaum. Now, the latest news. This is Night Dreams Talk Radio Network News, and I'm James Creechbaum. Astronomers detect the biggest explosion in the history of the universe. The blast came from a supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy, hundreds of millions of light years away. It released five times more energy than the previous record holder. But it happened very slowly, like an explosion in slow motion that took place over hundreds of millions of years. The explosion occurred in a galaxy cluster about 390 million light years from Earth. It was so powerful, it punched a cavity in the cluster plasma, the super hot gas surrounding the black hole. The difference is that you could fit 15 Milky Way galaxies in a row into the crater this eruption punched into the cluster's hot gas. Five California mountain lions were caught on a video outside a home in a rarity for solitary for solid creatures and this was five california mountain lions and they were seen together on a home surveillance video in a rare gathering of the notoriously solitary big cats the footage was recorded at a rural residence in the edge of the el dorado national forest east of sacramento a woman driving at night hits a man-like animal near mayetta a woman on reservation was coming home from work at 1.30 a.m. on a two-lane dirt road on the reservation heading to her home. She saw movement on her right and slightly ahead of her, and she swerved to the left lane to avoid a collision. Now, the creature ran in front of her car, and she hit it with the left front bumper. It cracked the bumper. The creature ran from right to left. It cleared the road in two steps. She estimated her speed at 35 to 40 miles per hour. The creature was approximately 7.5 to 8 foot tall. The creature I seen was tall and hairy, but not long hair as I had always assumed it was. Color was more brown than black. I never seen its face, so I'm not sure of facial looks, but large head, very long arms, and very fast. Loggers concluded they saw Bigfoot. The creature was definitely walking up right on two legs. It had broad shoulders, reddish brown colored hair. It didn't seem to be in a big hurry getting to where it was going. I could see its arms swinging as it walked and seemed to have a pointed or conical shaped head. I could distinguish the face I couldn't distinguish the facial features as it was too far away. The creature was headed in a east-northeast direction from, from us from up the hill across the prairie towards the ridge of the hill. We watched the creature until it disappeared over the ridge and it was that it was headed towards. Believers in the theory of deja vu, uh, they claim that the human experience of deja vu can be explained by considering the unsettling feeling of having lived a moment before as a crossover with a parallel universe. This would mean that whatever you're doing while experiencing the deja vu, a parallel version of you is doing it in a different universe simultaneously, therefore creating an alignment between the two universes. Lucid dreaming. During a lucid dream, profound realizations can be had, problems can be solved, and healing can be done. Training for lucid dreams began while you're awake. Push your finger into a palm of your hand multiple times a day. Take note of how it looks and feels. Eventually, this will happen in a dream. And when it does, you will notice an abnormality like your finger going through your hand, etc. This can trigger you into becoming fully aware that you are dreaming, helping begin the lucid dream. In 1954, a man arrived at Tokyo Airport. 
He had a passport issued by a country named Tord, which did not exist. He had a visa of all countries. He said his country is a thousand year old, and police locked him in a high secure room, and he vanished. Experts said he came from a peril universe. Next news break on the next show. From the compound in Gig Harbor, Washington. From the Pacific to the Atlantic to you worldwide. Good evening or morning, depending on your time zone. This is Gary on Night Dream Stock Radio. Are you ready to go for a ride? We got a full tank of gas. Our guest tonight is David Pierce. We're talking about his great book, The Bewitch History Book. Get on that easy chair. Put a log into that fire. Get yourself something nice and warm to drink. And let's go for that ride. On Night Dreams. Talk Radio. You're listening to Night Dreams Talk Radio After Dark with our host, Gary Anderson. That is me. Tonight, we're only on to 8.30. I have a commitment. There's no way I could get out of it. So we had to cut the show down a half an hour earlier tonight. Our guest tonight is David Pierce. He wrote this great book, The Bewitch History Book. David was born and raised in Salt Lake City, Utah, the oldest of four children. And evidently, like a lot of us, loved Bewitched. David, we're back with you. You're on the air. Thank you. And you can send this has been a lot of fun, Gary. Yeah, and you can send that check to me in care of. Never mind. Joking there. (laughs) Anyway, yeah. So you, 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 it took you many years to write the book. How many, how many days out of the month were you putting into writing this great book? Oh, my gosh. I'd, I'd say probably at least 20 to 25 days. I was writing as much as I could. Oh, wow. And how, when you were writing, I have to be honest with you, how much were you watching reruns of the show? Oh, over and over and over. As I've watched Bewitched as many times as there are stars in the sky. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. I, you know, I, I there's another show. It's a habit for me. I watch Hogan's Heroes every night, and I've been married for forty, going on forty three years. And out of forty three years, my wife says, "Please, is there one night we don't?" watch hogan heroes i said what do you mean i don't watch it on the weekend because they don't show it what are you complaining about linda (laughs) yeah my family got sick of me watching bewitched when i was growing up because i'd record it and then watch it on the uh vhs over and over and over but i just love it i find something new every single time and nowadays i put it on because i know it so well it helps me to fall asleep because i can just follow it along into my dreams oh yeah i bet do you have any dreams like you're part of bewitch um years ago i did um and i can't hardly remember it i just remember that um and oh actually it wasn't that i was a part of the show i was going shopping i was taking um agnes moorhead shopping at some hotel that had a nice antique store in it and elizabeth was with me and um (laughs) agnes wanted to buy a she she wanted to buy this lizard statue she said that was from thailand and elizabeth said just go with her and don't say anything about it when you see it 
And when we got into the store, this lizard looked just like Kermit the Frog, and Agnes was absolutely in- thrilled with it. And you could see that Elizabeth thought it was funny, and Agnes just kept on asking us, don't you think this is the most beautiful statue you've ever seen? <laughs> Interesting. I, I, myself, I, you know, I, I've been, you know, in scenes, and I go to bed at night because I watch it, and I've seen them. I mean, I can almost... Every one of the episodes by like Hogan Heroes, okay? I mean, yeah. I know it just probably better than they did when they had to read the script. I, I, that's how I have it for me. It gets. Now, James uh, Krishbaum has a couple questions to ask you here. Okay. Yeah, how you doing? Um, I was I'm curious, uh, how many spinoffs were there and what were they? There was only... There was just Tabitha, but then there was also a um, Saturday morning movie called Tabitha, Adam, and the Clown Family that aired on ABC, where it was um, Tabitha and Adam went to go visit who what was supposed to be um, Darren's sister, who was never actually on the, the Bewitched TV show. It was his sister, um, her family, they owned a circus, and so Tabitha and Adam went to stay with them one summer, and it's a, it was a really terrible, terrible cartoon, and I think it only aired once. But that's about the only spinoffs there were. Um, later on in the, in the early 2000s, there was an NBC daytime soap opera called Passions that, was, that had witches on it, and Bernard Fox reprised his role as Dr. Bombay on that show. So I wouldn't consider it a spinoff, but he um, showed up on there as the character from Bewitched. Oh, wow. Okay, and another question I got was uh, Dick and Elizabeth, were they the original uh, actors that the show wanted to, to begin with? So they originally wanted Tammy Grimes um, to play Samantha, and actually, at the time of the when T- Tammy was in talks to do it, the character's name was Cassandra, and Tammy didn't think that it would go anywhere, and so sh- um, she ended up doing her own show called the Tammy Grimes Show, and it lasted for four episodes. And oddly <laughs> enough, the second Darren Dick Sargent played Tammy's brother on this short-lived series, and Tammy's character's name on the Tammy Grimes Show was Tamantha. Like, how weird is that? And I'm really glad that Tammy Grimes didn't get it because, and I don't want to, don't want to be speaking ill of anybody, but she drove, she drives me nuts in anything that I've ever seen her in. Her voice drives me nuts. Um, there's nobody that could have played <laughs> Samantha except Elizabeth Montgomery. I agree with you. Uh, was there any big stars that made uh, guest appearances on the show, on the series? Um, earlier I mentioned Richard Dreyfus. There was also... Um, Oh, Jack Cassidy. Um, oh, and Peter, Peter Lawrence, or not Peter Lawrence, what's his name, from the Rat Pack, Peter Lawford. He was in an episode. And I'm trying to think oh, of wow. some others. Well, Off the um, top of my head, I can't really think. Okay, uh, one more quick question here. Whatever became of the twin child actors uh, later on after the show? Of uh, uh, Tabitha, Aaron Murphy, and Diane? Yes. Yeah, Aaron, um, Aaron is the mother of six boys, and she actually has a few grandkids now, if you can believe it, and she doesn't look anywhere near um, the age of being a grandmother. She's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and she, she lives in Malibu and, um, she's, she's appeared on a a few things. She quit acting, but she, um, she was a, a script supervisor and she was on Hogan or Hulk Hogan celebrity wrestling with, uh, Danny Partridge. Um, I can't remember his name now, but, um, she also does, uh, promos for uh, vodka icy that they sell at Costco's, I guess, not in Utah, though, because we wouldn't dare sell alcohol in the stores. And um, there, and then her sister, Diane, I, I met Diane at the Hollywood show that I mentioned earlier, and that was the only time that Diane's appeared at a celebrity signing, but um, 
she pretty much had stayed out of the spotlight and she 